Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a get ready with me video and this is going to be a talk through because I haven't done one of these in a little while and I'm still trying to come up with a name for these like, like you know how Shannon from, I'm just going to put my hair up while I talk, um, Shannon from ShanXO does her chit chat get ready with me. So I was trying to think of some sort of name um, for these but I don't know, <laughs> excuse me. I just had a power bar, so, <laughs> and I've got my water here. I'm filming a bunch of videos today. So, because I have a feeling I'm going to be pretty busy in the next couple weeks, so, yeah. <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and get started on the makeup. So, <clears throat> I already have my Balm Shelter Tinted Moisturizer on. This is a really nice tinted moisturizer. If you want a full review, just go to my The Balm Review video so you can see all the great stuff about this and other products from the bomb. But I think for today, um, for my primer, I'm going to use my uh, Spackle, Laura Geller Spackle. This is in bronze, and this is the huge tube. This is like four ounces, so it's massive. I'm just going to do one little pump like that, and prime my face. I'm just going to use my fingers. I always use my fingers for primer. I have some really, really exciting news that I am absolutely stoked about and I'm just over the moon thrilled and excited and I just I can't wait. Um, I got a job working for Estee Lauder which is amazing and I'm so excited I can't wait. If you guys follow me on Instagram you probably saw um, some outfit um, I did like an outfit of the day kind of thing um, interview outfit and I said that if I you know if it went well I would let you guys know and all that stuff so it went really well and obviously I got the job so I'm so excited to be working for Estee Lauder They're like my favorite um, high-end makeup company I love their foundations as you guys know and I'm really excited to dip into some other products and especially now that I work for them I'm probably gonna be buying a lot more Estee Lauder because hopefully get a discount um, but yeah I love Estee Lauder so I'm super excited to start working for them this NYX stay matte but not flat foundation in medium beige this is probably a little dark for me right now because I'm still tanned but I haven't this is coming towards the end of my I self tan like once a week and this is coming towards like the end of that so I'm not super tan or anything. Um, I really actually quite like this foundation. <clears throat> it's pretty nice. Um, it's It does keep you matte and I like the consistency of it and um, you know it blends really well <clears throat> which is nice. It's about medium buildable coverage so you can build it up to full coverage which is nice as well and yeah I like it I think though for any if I'm like going out somewhere nice or to um, a function or whatever then I would still stick with my Mac Studio Fix or my Estee Lauder Maximum Cover or the Double Wear I really want to get the Double Wear in a darker color I just feel like linen isn't really um, the right color for me and that's what I've always gotten but that was before I started self tanning so I'm pretty sure that now that I've been self tanning um, I need to go up a color and it's summer so your foundation should change anyways because you know you get more tan and whatnot so so I'm gonna use my erase paste by Benefit for my under eye concealer you guys know I love this stuff it's brightening because it's like um, like more of a pinky salmony color so it's very brightening and it's just really really nice I love it it helps to cancel out dark circles and yeah it's just amazing I've been using this almost every day I try not to because it's a pretty expensive concealer and I you know if I'm not going anywhere then I shouldn't really be using it because <laughs> I want to save it and keep it as long as I can so I um, I think I'm gonna start my new job, um, my new boss said she was going to call me this week, so hopefully I will start sometime next week. I think she said closer to like the 8th or the 9th of June I will be starting, which is a weekend. So that's really, really exciting. So I can't wait to start that. I gave my job, my, my current job, my two weeks notice, and although I loved... I love seniors. Um, if you guys, I'm sure you all know that I, I did um, my current 
well, job, um, was working with seniors and um, being like a rec therapist. So I still love seniors and I really enjoyed um, like doing the activities with them, but makeup is my ultimate passion and I love sales and I'm just really excited to work for Estee Lauder. Like that was my goal. I actually wrote it down in my little, one of my little um, journals that my goal this year was to get a job within a cosmetic company and never in a million years did I think that it would end up being Estee Lauder. So that's really, really cool. I'm going to use my Stay Matte Powder just to set my concealer. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Benefit Hello Flawless Powder, and this is in the color beige. I'm going to have to pick up one of these pretty soon because I've, I've hit pan pretty decently, so... Um, I gotta pick up one of these again, although I did have um, some samples of the new Makeup Forever powder, which is really, really nice, so I think I'm gonna pick up that instead of this, even though I still love this powder. I just like to try new products and, you know, switch it up a little bit, so. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put my lipstick on. Um, now just because I feel like it. So I picked up the Wet n Wild lipstick in Pinkerbell, which is gorgeous. This is the most beautiful coral color you have ever seen in your entire life. I'll swatch it. It's like a corally pink. It's just phenomenal and gorgeous and I love it. So the Walmart that I went to finally had these. So I was waiting a long time for these lipsticks to come out and some of the quads. I also bought uh, the Silent Treatment quad and the Getting Sunburn quad, which I love. I'm obsessed with them and I'll be doing some tutorials with those. Even though I'm sure you guys have seen a lot, um, they're just, I'm, oh, I'm in love with them and I'm so glad that my Walmart finally got them. So I'm going to start off with doing my eyes before I do my bronzer and blush and whatnot. So I'm using my Old Faithful um, Paint Pot Soft Ochre. By the way, um, I'm experimenting with darker brows. Um, I did previously um, go really dark with my eyebrows, and I liked it in pictures, but in person, every time like I went to look in the mirror or something, I was like, no. It's just too much. <laughs> it was like really, really dark. So, um... I'm trying to still keep it like relatively dark. This is the um, NYX Brow Cake Powder in Brunette. So you get, um, I don't want the thing to fall out, you get two colors in a wax. So I'm using the lighter of the two colors. And I previously was using um, this NYX eyeshadow, nude matte shadow, and underneath it all. But I found that was just too dark for me. And although this is still dark, it looks more natural. This has more of a, um, I'll show you, I'll give you a little, that's it on my finger. It has more of a, it does have a bit more of a red undertone, which I thought, oh, that's bad. It's not going to look good. I wanted something ashier. But on me, with this blonde hair, it actually looks better because it's more natural, it's not so harsh, where I found that underneath it all was just too, it was just too much, so that's that. So I'm going to experiment with some colorful eyeliner today. I bought um, this Annabelle Atomic Surf Smudge Liner, so it just looks like this, and this is in the color Atomic Surf. <laughs> Duh, I just said that. And it's really, really pretty, like, turquoise -y metallic -y color, so I'm going to use that on my waterline. So I want to keep the eyes, um, you know, fairly neutral. So I think I'm just going to, I'm going to take Buck from the Urban Decay Naked Palette and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. So I have a nice kind of brown base. I'm just using my Sigma eyeshadow brush. Just a flat, what is this? E55 brush. I really want to get some new um, 
makeup brushes so I'm gonna save my money and that's gonna be like my next kind of investment so I'm kind of excited about that I'm gonna use my Quo, just a Quo um, blending brush take naked and just blend that out in the crease I feel like it's time for me to get some new makeup brushes because I've had these Sigma ones for a long time and although they are really nice um, I just feel like I need a new set I need more of certain brushes um, yeah I just need new ones by the way I'm just taking virgin and putting that in my inner corner and just under the brow and then blending a little bit. So I am going to take this little um, small angle E65 Sigma brush and I'm going to take a buck and run that a little bit like halfway under the lower lash line. But yeah, just halfway, nothing, nothing more than that. So for my top, um, lash line. <laughs> I'm going to use the NYX <clears throat> Liquid Black Liner. This is the Collection Noir. And just do a black line. I feel like girls that have naturally dark hair are very lucky because girls with dark hair have natural like dark lashes and dark eyebrows so even when you have no makeup on it looks like you have makeup on <laughs> where if you're blonde like me I look my eyelashes are blonde my eyebrows are blonde so when I have absolutely no makeup on I look sick because I have no lashes and no eyebrows so for all you girls that are naturally dark be thankful because you look way better than me without makeup. A little bit like that and connect it and fill it in. <clears throat> I'm actually not really a fan of huge winged liner. I know in the past in some of my videos I might have done more of a wing but I actually don't really like a huge wing. I just don't think that that looks very nice anymore. Uh, I'm going to use my Visanti um, Kajal Extreme Black Liner and just do my upper lash line or tight line as some people call it and <clears throat> I'm going to take this Annabelle this Atomic Surf Liner and I'm going to run this, my eyes are going to water, I'm going to run this along the lower Ooh! Oh my goodness, they're going to water along the lower lash line. Of course, my eyes water every single time I do this. And then the eyeliner doesn't want to show up as well. It is a really pretty color. Um... So far it's not as pigmented as I was like, as I was like, oh my goodness, it's not as pigmented as I would like it to be, but I think that might have something to do with the fact that my eyes are watering. You know when like your eyes water and the eyeliner just doesn't want to go on after that, so I don't know, that could be it. I might add a little bit of this um, Rimmel Soft Coal Eyeliner Pencil in Royal Blue. It just looks like this. Just to really make, make it look like more blue. Okay, this one I like much better. It's really coming up a nice... A nice blue color it's beautiful oh I love it yeah I like this more than the other one that's for sure soft coal Kajal eyeliners are really really nice they stay on quite a while and 
this is way more pigmented and it was cheaper than the Annabelle one which you know it's just the way it goes I guess so I love that I'm just gonna put a little bit more um, of the buck shadow just underneath on the outer kind of outer half just a little bit and then I'm going to put on some mascara I'm just gonna use my um, Maybelline the Falsies mascara. I'm not going to put a ton on because I am going to put on some false eyelashes so I don't need a whole lot. False eyelashes. I'm going to use of course my duo lash glue, the dark duo lash glue. I'm going to use these Red Cherry number 42 lashes. So I'm going to put these on and I will be right back. So now on to the rest of the face. I'm going to be using the Bourjois, Bourjois, I can't say it, I'm not good with French at all, um, Chocolate Bronzer. I have been really loving this stuff as of late. I've been using it a ton and yeah, I really like it. I like to switch up my bronzers every once in a while. I still, you know, have my diehard bronzers that I will always purchase. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this one. I think this will be one of them just because it gives really nice color and it's not muddy which is nice because some bronzers um, can be too muddy while others can be too orangey so this is kind of like the perfect in-between kind of color so um, for my contour, I am going to use um, Benef or the Bombs Bahama Mama, which is quite a bit darker. And I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk little contouring brush and just put that right there. A little up into the temples as well. Contouring makes such a big difference with your makeup it's crazy so then I like to take a little bit down the sides of the nose and a little on the chin there and we're good to go excuse me my phone went off so because I have a lot of colors going on here um, with the bold lip and the turquoisey blue I thought of going for a softer blush so I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Everlasting Face Shaper Blush in Bellissima this is a sample but it is a gorgeous kind of peachy color. It's absolutely beautiful. That's a swatch. I don't know if you can see that swatch on my hands. But I'm just going to pop that on the cheeks. It's just kind of like, it's a very natural blush. Um, as you can see, it's very soft and very natural. But still gives you like that healthy kind of sun-kissed look without being too harsh so if you have like a dramatic eye or you just want to go for a soft blush this Bellissima by Kat Von D is really really nice so I love that so for a highlight I'm gonna use the Bombs Mary Luminizer love this stuff it's amazing I got a comment on one of my videos one of the um, my subscribers asked me how to minimize um, the look of pores when you use a highlight and what highlighters would be good for minimizing pores. The thing with highlighters is they are, ooh, I'm like tipping over my chair. Uh, the thing with highlighters is that they do reflect light so they are going to show your pores more. So if you have a problem with pores, I wouldn't really put it um, like here and down your nose and everything. Um, I would just keep it at the tops of the cheekbones. Um, that way you avoid any issues with pores. Um, there's other, there are some highlighters that are better um, and don't bring up pores as much. Like I think Soft and Gentle is really good. It's more um, glittery or whatever I should say, but it's not as, it's hard to explain. It doesn't bring up the pores as much, but any kind of highlighter is going to emphasize your pores no matter what you do. So just keep it at the tops of the cheekbones. Don't, you know, put it right here. Don't put it, um, if you have like large pores on your forehead, um, don't put it there. Just put it in spots where you don't have huge pores or um, issues with that. So that's kind of advice for the day. So I'm going to set everything with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Just a couple spritz of that. And how many of you feel like 
when you spray this, you get like one side of your face, but not the other. I have to spray it so many times to get like everything. I don't know why and how that happens, but it happens quite often. So I'm just going to take out ah, my bobby pin and just kind of brush out my hair a bit. I kind of want it to be, this is second day hair, so it's not as, um, moving nicely. <laughs> As you can see, it's just kind of getting stuck there because I'm very oily. So even second day hair for me is like woo, crazy. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the down bar. Also, I should mention I started to use biotin um, for my hair. I forgot to mention this in this video and I think it's gotten a little bit longer. I've used it for um, not quite, uh, probably two weeks now, and I feel like it's made my hair a tad bit longer, but I'll do, like, a full update and let you guys know how that's going, but I kind of want to just try and grow my hair out naturally, not use extensions so much anymore, just because they can be, they can be a pain in the you-know-what, so I'm kind of feeling more, like, natural hair, so. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and, excuse me, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.